Hello, fixed signs. All right, so if you are a fixed sign, this the video is for you. What is a fixed sign? Okay, so a cardinal sign is a starter. They're the they're the movers and shakers. They're the ones. They're the pioneers. They're the ones who. They're the spark. They're the leaders. They're the go getters. Okay, they start everything. The fixed signs. You guys are stabilizers and you guys are builders. You are the glue that holds it all together. All right. So if you are a Taurus, a Leo. A Scorpio or an Aquarius, this video is for you, okay? This is only for fixed suns. This is not for moon and rising. This is only for fixed sun signs, okay? So let's see what's going on with you um, in love, your past, your present, and your um, your possible outcome in love, all right? I'll be doing these videos every single day along with the uh, daily air, earth, water, and fire, okay? This gives you just a little bit more clarity on your situation, okay? Remember, this is only for sun, so I'm not doing uh, moon and rising. This is only for fixed sun signs, all right? So let's get it popping. If you guys like these vid this, uh, this new video series, let me know so I can keep making them. If you hate them, let me know so I can stop. Shit, save me some time. This is all for you. I'm not saying. All right, all right fixed signs. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you. Past, present, and possible outcome. All right? So in your past, you have the Eight of Pentacles. You were working very hard for a situation, fixed signs. Working very hard for love. Putting a lot of effort in, money as well, into a relationship. Um, working on yourself, building, okay? Building um, foundation, stability. All right? Good shit. In the present, you have the King of Pentacles. All right, so you're, def you're dealing with someone who's very stable, grounded, someone who's material-based, someone who's good with money, all right? Not gonna, I don't want to I, I name signs, but okay, this is because, but this is Taurus, it's a fixed sign, okay? This is earth energy, all right? So I feel like in your, let's see, let's get some clarifiers here before we go to your, your future here, your possible outcome. Putting a lot of effort in, a lot of money into a situation, all right? The relationship seems to be very fruitful, or it could be, or it could be all based on money. But the King of Pentacles is in the upright, so that's good. This is someone who works very hard for their money. This is someone who puts a lot of work in. Someone who's very resourceful, fruitful by themselves. All right, successful by themselves. But someone who's very material based could be very vain, can be greedy as well. All right, someone who's all about the cash, all about the cake, but very resourceful. Okay, someone who's generous as well. Okay, yeah, so we have the eight, wow, we have the eight of pentacles here with the tower. So I, I feel like in your past uh, fixed signs, you were working, you were putting a lot of effort into a situation, but it still, it still got blown up, it still got blown up. It was a fucking disaster. Give him a card for that. You were putting a lot of work into it, but I guess the work was shoddy because it wasn't, the structure wasn't standing on shit. It fell down. Something happened drastic here. Let's see. Wow, I feel like, yeah, I feel like something you put a lot of work into, it fell apart. Like maybe maybe you thought you were putting a lot of work in, but you weren't. Like I feel like the effort was in vain because the shit fell apart anyways. And I feel like you, I feel like you're obsessed. You were obsessive over the situation too. A lot of mental unrest, obsession, thinking about it over and over again, anxiety, paranoia, okay, nervousness. But this too could have also been why it came to a halt, why it came to an abrupt end, because you were so obsessed. You were so you had so much anxiety about this shit. But I feel like that too, because you put so much work into it. You really put a lot of work and money into the situation in the past. And it fell apart abruptly. It came to an abrupt end, a destructive end too. And I feel like in the past, you were very obsessive about this. You could not sleep at night. It was a lot of mental unrest. You just couldn't get it off your mind. You were, you were stressed out about it. You, have, you were very nervous about the situation, had a lot of anxiety. A lot of, a lot of mental turmoil here, mental anguish. Okay, then we have in the, uh, the the present position we have the King of Pentacles with the Three of Swords in reverse and the um, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like there there was some somebody got their heart broken. Somebody is somebody is presently hurting right now. I feel like there's some jealousy too with the. I always see the Three of Swords in reverse as jealousy. 
or like somebody trying to hurt your point, somebody intentionally trying to hurt you, but it's not working. I feel like there's jealousy here, but with the will of fortune, something is going in your favor. You're getting over it. You're getting over jealousy, heartache, pain, hurtful words. You know what I mean? People, people just being mean as fuck to you. I feel like the, the it's the will of fortune is turning in your favor now. I feel like you're getting over heartache and you're getting money. That's what I feel like. There's money coming in for you. All right. I don't see any I don't see any love or emotion in the present situation here. I see heartache and I see money. I feel like you're getting over past heartache. You focus on focus on your coins. Good shit. And the will of fortune is turning in your favor, so I mean this is you're, you're the king of pentacles in the present position. And we have the six of we have the six of pentacles in reverse here. So I feel like in the I feel like in the present Fix sign. Someone's taking advantage of you. There's a lack of mutual respect here. But I feel like I feel like you know that already. With the will of fortune, I feel like you know you already know that. This could too be a, a something with your bank as well. But this is a love reading, so I feel like I feel like someone is taking advantage of someone here regarding their money. There's a lack of there's a lack of equal give and take here. Someone. Someone is giving more than they should or, or taking more than they should. Hmm. Let's see what your possible outcome is, all right? Your possible outcome is a two of pentacles. Managing, juggling, juggling between two people. I feel like this is because someone is being treated unfairly here. Somebody has a lot of money and someone's taking advantage. Yeah, see, everybody... <laughs> The Queen of Swords in reverse and the Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're you're trying to decide if you want to cut somebody out or if you want to stay. Somebody from your past. In the future, you're gonna you're, you're, you're gonna be deciding if you want to cut this person out or not. This could this or if you wanna like I feel like you're courting someone here. This is I feel like I feel like you're you're gonna I feel like you're courting someone right now, but you feel like they're they're taking advantage of you though. Like you're just courting them and not getting anything. Like they're not giving you anything right you're just courting them and i feel like in the future you're gonna be like uh i don't do i want to keep this person are they are they a, are they an asset liability mm, i don't know so i feel like someone's you're gonna be cutting somebody out a high, uh, maybe a childhood sweetheart or just a court just courting someone you know spoiling someone being generous being um being too generous i think you're gonna cut that shit out in the future here you're gonna make a decision yeah we have the queen of rods I don't want to mention signs, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like this close. It's like, it was almost came out like word vomit. But yeah, we have the Queen of Rods here with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like you're going to cut somebody off from your past. Someone who's very spiritual. Somebody who works with, works with the arts. Someone who's, who's very, someone who knows about the laws, of, the laws of karma, cause and effect. Someone who works with the eso, um, esoteric knowledge. Someone who's very aware of energy. Someone who works with energies. You're going to be... Trying to figure out if you want to cut them out or not. This person is definitely from your past. You have history with them because this is this is someone in there. This is a queen. So this, this is not someone new. This is someone that you have history with, someone that you know, someone that you have um, been dealing with for some time now. You're going to be deciding to either keep them or cut them out or you're juggling between, you're juggling between a queen of, uh, damn, you, at, least, at least you got two queens. Shit, you're juggling between the queen of swords and the queen of rods. A really bitchy person and a really uh, spiritual person, or this could be the same person. With this could be the same person with split personalities. Just saying, this could be the same damn person. Any any way it goes, you're juggling. They they're, and they're both from your they're both from your past. Both of them. Fixed sign. You're juggling both. Damn, look at you. You got you juggling queens and shit. Like okay, all right. Fixed sign. So I hope this helps you. Uh, let me know if you like these, these these new videos so I can keep making more. If you hate them, let me know that as well so I can stop. Save my ass some damn time. Okay, so please like and subscribe and comment what you think about the new video series. Okay, thank you.